Welcome back guys. A couple weeks ago I posted a video doing a ballistics gel comparison between the Federal Premium HST and the Spear Gold Dot. Now after I posted that video uh, I had multiple comments suggesting that I add four layers of denim into the test and run it back. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to test the same two rounds um, in the same ballistics gel block and we're just going to add denim and retest them and see how they do. So just in case you missed the last video, this is what we're going to be using. The Federal Premium HST and the Spear Gold Dot, both 124 grain bullets. And the gel block we'll be using is a clear ballistics 20% NATO block. Again, just in case you missed the last video, I did kind of go over what the differences were between 20% gel and 10% gel. 10% gel mimics human tissue more accurately than 20% gel does, but 20% gel will stop the bullet quicker than 10% gel will, and that's why I prefer using the 20% gel block. So like I said, we're going to be adding denim into the equation, and the reason they test hollow points this way is because hollow points only really expand in tissue-like substances, and if that cavity of the hollow point gets clogged with clothing or drywall um, or anything like that it can clog up that bullet and then it just basically turns into a full metal jacket it doesn't expand and doesn't open up like it's supposed to so adding denim into the equation creates a, a more rigorous test for these bullets and we'll see if it can pass through clothing and barriers and stuff like that and still expand the way that it's supposed to so that's what we're going to be doing today um, i'm going to go ahead and set everything up and then we will run the test first we're doing the spear gold dot out of my Glock 17. Alright, so this isn't good. This went in the front and went all the way through the block and out the other side. I'm assuming it must have clogged that hollow point with some of the denim. All right, well that's interesting. The gold dot passed straight through that gel block and did not stop or expand the way that it was supposed to. It went through the denim and through the gel block and pretty much acted like a full metal jacket uh, ball round. So it looks like the denim might have affected the gold dot. So now I'm going to step back and load up the HST and we'll see what it does. Next, the Federal Premium HST. I think it did the same thing. The HST also went all the way through that gel block and out the other side. So what I'm going to do now is um, take the denim off and see if that's what's causing that and then I'm just going to shoot the block bare and see if it expands like it's supposed to. Alright, now I'm doing the spear gold dot again, this time without the denim on the front. And see if that's what's causing it to not expand and stop in that block. Alright guys, so this is interesting. Without the denim, that second gold dot stopped right about the same spot it did the first time. Almost identical to the first test, right at one foot. Came in, had a pretty good temporary wound cavity, and stopped at about the one foot mark. Next we're doing the HST with no denim. And we got the same result with the HST. It stopped and expanded with no denim. And the HST stopped right at 11 inches. So similar results to the first test I did without the denim. Well, I gotta say guys, that kind of uh, surprised me a little bit. Um, I definitely did not expect the gold dot and the HST to both uh, pass through that gel block like that. Uh, these are widely considered to be two of the very best hollow points on the market. and 
for those bullets to not expand and stop the way that they were supposed to after passing through that denim like that is definitely not the result that I expected. Now, next what I'm gonna do is I have a third bullet I'm going to try since the first two, um, you know, kind of failed that test. Uh, the third bullet I'm gonna try is the Hornady Critical Duty. Now I'm gonna roll in some shots here of what the Critical Duty looks like. It is a hollow point, but it has a red insert inside the bullet to prevent um, exactly what just happened with the other two. The red uh, polymer piece that's inside that bullet is supposed to keep that hollow point plugged up so that any clothing or you know any soft barrier that the bullet passes through uh, will not go inside the hollow point and clog it up just like it appears that the denim did with our gold dot and our HST. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the critical duty and we will test it out. All right guys, so next I'm gonna try the Hornady Critical Duty. This one works the way it's supposed to, that denim should not affect it. So I'm gonna try it first with the denim and we'll see what it does. Also, out of the Glock 17. Alright guys, so this is interesting. That Hornady stopped and expanded while the other two with the denim went straight through that block and out the end. So that little red uh, tip inside that Hornady did what it was supposed to do. And the Hornady is the one on top. It stopped right at about ten and a half inches. There's the Hornady with that little red insert you can see came out and expanded. All right guys, so here are our three bullets that I dug out of the gel. This one on the left here is the Hornady Critical Duty. You can see the red uh, polymer insert there that came out of the hollow point when it hit the gel. Then here's the HST and here's the gold dot. The problem is the HST and the gold dot didn't expand when they went through the denim. So these two only expanded when they hit bare gelatin while the uh, Hornady Critical Duty expanded when it went through the denim, just like it was supposed to do. And it's interesting to know that this red polymer piece there uh, worked exactly like it was designed and kept that hollow point plugged up until it passed through the denim. Well, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like I said, the results from this test surprised me. I did not think that um, the HST and the gold dot would both fail that denim test. That's that's just not what I expected But on uh, this sample size of one the HST and the gold dot both failed and the Hornady critical duty uh, Passed with flying colors and did exactly what it was supposed to do So I would have never done this if it wasn't for you guys suggesting this to me There was a couple of you guys that, that said uh, You know run it with four layers of denim and uh, I'm, I'm glad that you guys gave me that suggestion so if you have any other things you'd like to see any things with the gel block or without the gel block um, anything you want to see me shoot any, any experiments you want to see just just let me know in the comments I'll be happy to do it so thanks a lot guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me if you're not subscribed yet please consider doing so and I will see you next time thanks